M and So we're Marco. gonna see the quick return of Marco back on stream, back at it again. DM with the Captain Falcon, Marco with the Toon Link. Three, two, oh, I'm loving this. One, and this ain't Brawl Falcon. This is Ultimate Falcon. Brawl Falcon had no me. Brawl Falcon was an abomination to what this character stood for. I'm not a Falcon over, so Brawl Falcon is probably where he needs to go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. No bias out here. No bias, bias out here from the commentators. Nothing like that. I'm just saying, as far as the Falcon mains go, that was Brawl was Captain Falcon's worst appearance, bar none. He was bottom five, bottom ten character easily. He was just so slow in a game where he's all about speed. So. Not gonna go too in detail here. Instead, we got DM with the Falcon. I gotta tell you, Reggie, I feel like as this bracket has gone on, I feel like it's literally been a mix of, okay, we know who this person's gonna play versus I have no idea what to expect from this, you know, this player. You know what I yeah. mean? It's like, there's no in-between where I'm oh. like, hmm, who is this character gonna play? Yeah. It's such a mix. Yeah, but if you saw right there, that F-Tilt did too, friend, but good job for DM for holding his jump right there and managing to make it back with Falcon. And... I, from what I was like watching, I thought DM was just getting beat up, but I'm looking at the percent right now, and he wasn't doing so bad. 103 onto Marco, even though DM lost the first stock, Captain Falcon does hit hard, so they, this ain't looking good. No, definitely not for DM right there. That was a bit of an overextension, the way he lost that stock, going deep and going down to go for the up B. Trying, putting him in a position for a potential rock croc, although that did get nerfed. Falcon can, I mean, that didn't, my mistake, buffed. Falcon can uh, act out of that a lot faster than he did in previous patches. Something that I personally thought they were, you know, not going to change too much, but hey, they did. Either way, he's doing it again. He keeps going low for these uppies, and he's doing it from the stage. Like, he's jumping off the level to do that, and he's getting caught in so many of these reverse uppies from Toon Link. Reverse beefy uppies to make sure he gets past the ledge with it as well. Over yeah. and over again, but the oh, Calvary finally gonna take the stock. Yeah, great burst option from DM. And I'm liking, I was liking those upbeats because it just forced Falcon off stage. And now you see DM at 116%, even though Marco is in disadvantage. It's not so great for DM right now. No, he's literally, he's literally reaching. Yeah. Do you see him? He's literally reaching. When he does the so he's like, he'll yeah. shake my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Match ain't over yet. Why are you trying to get him to shake your hand, DM? Come on. Mm -hmm. At a North okay. Jersey Fest right now. I love that. That's actual Smash 4 stuff right there. Dropping through the Smashville platform when it's off the stage, waiting for your opponent to air dodge. That is actual Smash 4-ish right there. Yeah, that's also some brawl stuff, man. Yeah. It's not, not Smash uh... 4 exclusive. And went a bit too deep with Falcon. Yeah, that's not Smash 4 stuff. That's just SD stuff. Doesn't matter what game you're playing there. Yeah. Unfortunate. Yo, Marvelous Marco for the first game. Take a look at this little Falcon combo right here. Yeah, let, let's look at this one. Yeah, this is this where is we glory. wait. This, this Miss Neaton got weak kidney into suicide. That's my stuff. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. The knee would have been hype. It would have been. Especially if he died right after. Would have been like, yeah, I lost, went out in a blaze of glory. But this is what I'm talking about, man. He went low for those edge guards and put himself in that horrible position yeah. against Toon Link over and over and over again. Like, look at this right here. Get some off stage. Yeah. No, oh, this, no, this, 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 this is a different part, this different part of the match. This is a different part of the match. My bad. I was totally wrong. Yeah. He, he got the little speed up right there. Yeah. All right. Game's about to start. There you go. Drop through air dodge. That's what it was about. And here we go. Got the wolf mm -hmm. back out, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely yeah. jumping, jumping up a tier for the second game. And but Marco just beat Lemon Tea. Ah! But this this ain't even Lemon Tea. No, this ain't this ain't Lemon Tea for sure. This is DM we're talking about. So this guy already has like a pretty good warm up. Marvelous Marco does against one of Tri State's better Wolf players. Going up against DM here, who has shown that he has a Wolf. This guy just beat Eight Bit Man with Wolf, and Eight Bit Man has a pretty nasty Diddy. Been playing that yeah. character for quite some time as well, so. Definitely can't sleep, Marco, for sure. And oh, but not if he keeps doing this. I forgot about this. I forgot he was going yeah. for the balloon with side bees off the level. Never mind, it, Mar Marco. You might just wait for him to do that. That's my advice to you. Yeah. The DM is willing to forfeit these dogs <laughs> for the cost of the swag meter. <laughs> In the true spirit of the drip meter. All right, laser to catch jump. 
knew and the reset I, wasn't I'm, good. I'm liking, I'm liking this hit. Oh, Marco got it with the balloon. That's high. That's full drip meter. You get two drip meters for that. Like, you get to use your super. You get to yeah, use but... your drip super. And then you just have another one charged up afterwards. Yeah, but he lost the stock first. Yeah. And he's going really deep, but DM's able to avoid him. Yeah, this time it's different. I feel like he could... Oh, my God. Yeah. He wow. Just... You can't go for the balloon that often. I was going to say, he actually caught onto it as a habit, which makes sense, considering you're specifically going for attacks that's not against your opponent. It is something that can be exploited. And it was very smart of Marco to just put out a hitbox where he knew that DM was going to be instead. And not only that, that's like basic Smash Fundamentals right there to do that, but he decided to do it with up air, which was a lingering hitbox, you know, <laughs> so it gave him more of a chance for him to really be able to intercept Wolf in that position. Really smart on Marco. Yeah, no, it's... I'm like, it's a really good idea. Oh. Good, good it, job right going now. towards the platform and recognizing that he can make that right there. Yeah. That platform does assist, my friend. You know, you guys gotta hope sometimes that you'll be able to recover. It's a little like Randall in that sense on Yoshi's story, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes it'll just be there on the right side for you and you'll have a whole other option to recover high. Corner pressure, though, is different. DM not jumping not jumping back, not wanting to put himself yeah. further in the corner against Marvelous Marco. Okay, ball the air to air, but Wolf wins that. That smash. In the midst of the balloon, not it fighting for it. Oh. Balloon goes to Marco. Alright. Just waiting, fishing for that down smash by the ledge, of course. Toon Link's still off the level, but finally able to get that up B to resort his way back. And the up smash, not going to take it just yet. These guys are just fishing for each other right now, but Marco is still the one in the dominant position as he is up a stock. But Wolf, as we all know, the big bad wolf can just breathe on you, and you will lose that stock, especially if you're at high percent. Oh, but he, we got tether yeah. canceled, though. You see that? Yeah, no, yeah, no, Marco has some stylish stuff out here. Yeah. He did that once in the set with Lemon Tea. And he, I know he, he did, did what? it. What? He, he dabbed? He did. No. He, he tether canceled. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said dabbed. I don't know why I heard that. Oh my god. Lingering hitbox of the up air. Putting out a no fly zone for Wolf saying, do not get near me, my friends. That is something that Toon Link does have in pretty good spades. He's got lingering hitboxes in the up air like that that he can just sort of leave out there to intercept recoveries and bad options or bad approaches, I should say. On top of just projectiles on top of everything to do that as well. Yeah, now it's going to be on DM. There's a lot of stuff going for him. And that up B, not going to get punished a lot. Just want taking one up there from it. Yeah, wasn't a hard punish for sure. At a time where you needed hard punishes especially, and that's going to be able to do it right there. Yeah. Uh, Marco's tether usage, immaculate. Yeah, no, it's definitely one of the best in the business. And... Marco now sitting cleanly in winner's finals. Mm -hmm. Guaranteed top three. Take a look at this again. I love it. I love it. Using the B reverse neutral B to make his way back to the level. Turn himself around back to the stage to put himself in the position for the tether. Dropped him at just the perfect height where he'd be able to snap back on the ledge as quickly and efficiently as possible to put specifically to, <clears throat> to put him in position for the reverse up B. Yeah, you no. love to see it. I you definitely do love to see it. It is one of the greatest things that Toon Link can do to edge guard recoveries like that. It's just to like wait there with the tether and then just cancel it just to upbeat him. Because he's able to put out a hitbox just to send them flying back the other way 